flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an attached moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And the moon is getting ready to go into Aquarius. So I just want to do a little quick rundown before I go live tonight. Now look, check this out. With the moon going into Aquarius and the sun being in Virgo, this means you're going to have to kind of be a little bit more cynical. Look at the details of the people that you are associated with. And it doesn't have to be necessarily the people that you value, a.k.a. the second house. Doesn't necessarily have to be just people you're familiar with, a.k.a. the third house. It doesn't necessarily have to be just the people you're in a relationship with, a.k.a. the seventh house. But it's going to have to deal with the eleventh house, a.k.a. everything that you are a part of. So it could be a, a bill you are a part of, you might share bills with someone, or it may be certain social groups that you are a part of, uh, you may have agreed to certain terms and conditions based upon your friends or your family that you forgot that you have agreed to, so now you're, you're gonna, uh, these things gonna be brought back up and resurfaced, and you're gonna have to look at these things to be able to see if you actually agree with these things or not, but for the most part, the time that you agreed with it, it was a bunch of other things on your mind, so it was cloudy. Now, when the moon going to Aquarius, the moon is in air. So for the most part, it's more logical, more rational. So you're going to be thinking about that cloud or that cloudy judgment that you may have made a few days ago or a few, moon, few moons ago. <laughs> but keep that in mind. So when we're talking about the moon going into Aquarius, we're, we're going to have to react and respond to the things we are associated with, our associations, right? And how we conduct ourselves in the public arena, aka dealing with anybody. That's why I brought that. That's why I broke down the second house. Um, the motherfucker seventh house and um, even all the way to the, the third house and how I made the little slight uh, difference because for the most part, when you're conducting yourself in a public arena, you're dealing with many individuals, people you don't know, people you're not associated with, people you are associated with, people you may be familiar with, but you don't value certain people you do value that they, these people may be with you during this time, but it's going to be mixed in with all of that. And you're going to have to look at the details of these things and start to analyze because how the moon makes us react and respond, it's going to look like the sun. And the sun is in Virgo. So all that logical rationalizing from your own unique perspective, uh, you have to be more seen on that, a.k.a. look at the details of that, analyze that a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Construct what you're actually trying to analyze and construct what you're actually trying to communicate. Don't even communicate it unless it makes sense. Now, here's the little quite conjunct, I mean, the in conjunction that Aquarius have with Virgo. See, air likes to communicate externally. Earth likes to communicate internally. So when you communicate internally, that make, that turns it into practicalizing. So now you're practicalizing something. You're communicating with yourself about something until it makes sense before verbally communicating it or acting upon it. So earth, it will be like the feminine version of yang. And air will be the masculine version of yang. So for the most part, when we are externally communicating, that's air. When we are internally communicating, we're trying to make sense out of something and practicalize something. That's earth. We're trying to solidify something, see the reality of something. And if it matters enough, it can manifest into an actual reality into our lives to the point that it could be a ground that we could, a leg that we could stand on. Or people could look at our circumstance and situation like it's shaky because we, we're not living stable based upon mentally or physically or emotionally. You see what I'm saying? So it goes deep into a lot of scenarios. But like I said, when the moon being in Aquarius and the sun being in Virgo, here's the in conjunction because we're going to want to react and respond to communicating in our own unique way. But the way that has to look is in a way that we shouldn't communicate yet. We should communicate with ourselves, a.k.a. think about who we talking to, what we are associated with, what we are a part of, what we about to sign. Think about these things first. Think about what conversation you're getting ready to add on to before fully adding on to it. You see what I'm saying? And therefore, you will be able to ride this in conjunction wave that we got going on. But I'm going to go a little deeper tonight. But like I said, I just wanted to do this little quick video before I go get my daughter from school real quick. Because, um, you know, um, the moon is in Capricorn right now. So the moon is going to be getting ready to go into Aquarius about midday. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, we're all going to be feeling this emotional shift. And once you get into three degrees Aquarius, which will be six hours after that, uh, it will be fully into Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? It will be no longer on the cusp to the point that we're sharing attributes of reacting and responding to our status 
and our stability in our lives, but also communicating this in our own unique way. We're going to go fully into just wanting to communicate our own uniqueness and originality, but we need to make sure it makes sense before we're just communicating it and be looked at as airheads and just a motherfucker with a whole bunch of ideas, but not constructing it in a way where it can make sense down here. You see what I'm saying? But we're going to go deep once I go live tonight and, and also break down the full moon um, and this motherfucker dreamy ass weekend we're getting ready to experience once the moon going to Pisces. Flight boss bit and the moon going not going into Pisces on Saturday per se, but the full moon, we're going to slowly but surely reach up to that, pro uh, to that process to the point that Saturday the moon is still going to be in Pisces, but we're going to experience the full potential of it so the most part we know what pisces is about but we're gonna hold on to that flight boss bitch goddamn air <laughs> like y'all